published, 309 EDT, the 9th of April 2018, updated, 1224 EDT, the 9th of April 2018 Theresa May today condemned the barbaric chemical weapons attack in Syria and vowed to hold both the regime and Russia to account if they are responsible. The Prime Minister said Russia was enabling the Syrian regime and blocking investigations into a series of atrocities. A spokesman for the Prime Minister said the full range of options would be considered once international investigations were concluded. Speaking in Denmark today, Mrs May said Britain and allies was urgently assessing what happened in Doma and said if it was as appears it was another example of Assad's brutality. She drew a comparison between Russian support for the Syrian regime and its use of a nerve agent in Salisbury last month. But she stopped short of directly threatening military action in response to the latest atrocity, insisting only that we want to ensure those responsible are held to account. Foreign Secretary Johnson spoke to the interim U.S. Secretary of State John Sullivan tonight. The pair agreed Saturday's attack bore hallmarks of previous regime atrocities. Donald Trump vowed to respond within 48 hours tonight. Any U.S. military action will heap pressure on Britain to join a coalition. Theresa May's regional visit moved to Sweden tonight for further talks on security and Brexit with Premier Stefan Löfven and Mrs May pictured in Sweden with her chief of staff Gavin Barwell, left, has spent the day touring Scandinavia to build further support against Russia and bolster her Brexit negotiations Theresa May, pictured at a press conference with Danish Prime Minister Lars Rasmussen, today condemned the barbaric chemical weapons attack in Syria and vowed to hold the regime to account if it is responsible speaking in Denmark after talks with Prime Minister Lars Rasmussen. Mrs. May drew a comparison between Russian support for the Syrian regime and its use of a nerve agent in Salisbury last month. Mrs. May said, The UK utterly condemns the use of chemical weapons in any circumstances and we must urgently establish what happened on Saturday. Theresa May insisted all options were on the table today as outrage over the chemical attack in Syria grew. If Donald Trump repeats US military retaliation over the attack, Britain will come under pressure to join a coalition. Britain has RAF Typhoon and Tornado squadrons in the region, alongside Reaper drones, currently tasked with the war against ISIS in northern Syria. Any attempt to disable the Syrian regime's ability to launch chemical attacks, by destroying airfields or weapon stocks, would likely require ground troops. The Prime Minister would face a tough battle to get any military action through the House of Commons though could insist the situation was an emergency and act before a vote. Speaking in Denmark, Mrs May said, The UK utterly condemns the use of chemical weapons in any circumstances and we must urgently establish what happened on Saturday. If established this is another example of the Assad regime's brutality and brazen disregard for its own people and for its legal obligations not to use these weapons. If they are found to be responsible the regime and its backers, including Russia, must be held to account. Mrs May's spokesman said questions on military action were hypothetical but that a range of options were on the table. If established this is another example of their Assad regime's brutality and brazen disregard for its own people and for its legal obligations not to use these weapons. If they are found to be responsible the regime and its backers, including Russia, must be held to account. The events in Doma fit into a troubling wider pattern of acts of aggression and abuse of long-standing international norms on counter-proliferation and the use of chemical weapons in recent years. Russia's repeated vetoes at the UN has enabled these rules to be broken and removed mechanisms that allow us to investigate and hold account chemical weapons attacks in Syria. This must stop. Britain is in close consultation with allies about how to respond to the attack, which Western governments have said is probably the fault of Syrian dictator President Bashar Assad, a foreign office spokesman said tonight, their foreign secretary and acting secretary of state agreed that, based on current media reports and reports from those on the ground, this attack bore hallmarks of previous chemical weapons attacks by the Assad regime. They reiterated their commitment to standing up for the Chemical Weapons Convention and to ensuring that those responsible for this horrific attack are held to account. They underlined the importance of the UK, 
the U.S., and France remaining in close touch. Earlier, a spokesman for the Prime Minister today said questions about military action were hypothetical amid rapidly growing speculation of Western strikes. Theresa May, pictured today in Copenhagen with Danish Prime Minister Lars Rasmussen, today vowed to hold to account those responsible for a devastating chemical weapons attack in Syria. Boris Johnson, file image has warned the international community in must respond to the latest chemical weapons outrage in Syria but the spokesman said the full range of options would be considered once an investigation into the attack was complete. At a briefing in Westminster today, Mrs. May's spokesman said the government was clear those responsible must be held to account, adding, we are swiftly working with our allies to agree a common position. Theresa May today linked the nerve agent attack in Salisbury and Russian backing of the Syrian regime. The Prime Minister lashed Kremlin recklessness and disdain for the international rules-based system. Standing alongside Danish Prime Minister Lars Rasmussen in Copenhagen, the PM condemned Vladimir Putin's steadfast support for Bashar Assad. She said, We saw a similar recklessness last month with the use of chemical weapons on the streets of Salisbury. The UK's case for holding Russia responsible for the attempted murder of Sergei and Yulia Skripal is clear. Based on our world leading experts at Port and Down positively identifying the chemical agent as an Avichok, our knowledge that Russia has previously produced this agent and retains the capability to do so, Russia's record of conducting state sponsored assassinations, our assessment that they have used some defectors as legitimate targets for assassination, and our information indicating that they have investigated ways of delivering nerve agents probably for assassination, and as part of this program have produced and stockpiled small quantities of Novichoks, the government has concluded that there is no plausible explanation other than that Russia was responsible. No other country has a combination of the capability, the intent and the motive to carry out such an act. Denmark's solidarity, along with many countries across the international community, has been invaluable in sending a strong signal to Russia that its illegal and destabilizing activity will not be tolerated. Number 10 said the PM would raise the issue during meetings with counterparts in Sweden and Denmark later today. The spokesman said, as the foreign secretary said in February if there is a clear verified use of chemical weapons and a proposal for action where the UK would be useful then we will look at the range of options. At a briefing in Westminster today, Mrs. May's spokesman said the government was clear those responsible must be held to account, adding, we are swiftly working with our allies to agree a common position. Number 10 said the PM would raise the issue during meetings with counterparts in Sweden and Denmark later today. The spokesman said, as the foreign secretary said in February if there is a clear verified use of chemical weapons and a proposal for action where the UK would be useful then we will look at the range of options. He added, as regards military action, I'm just not going to get into a hypothetical situation. The UN Security Council will meet in emergency session later to discuss Saturday's attack, which killed dozens of people including children. U.S. President Donald Trump and French President Emmanuel Macron have already held direct talks about the possibility of a response amid speculation of Western strikes. Missiles were launched at a Syrian airfield overnight but the U.S. has denied responsibility. Analysts suggested the source could have been Israel. If America and France do launch military action against Assad, Britain will come under pressure to join a coalition. Our air fair crews are already in action over Syria fighting ISIS expanding the mission would normally require a vote of parliament, which is on recess until next Monday, but Theresa May could declare the situation an emergency. Mrs May's visit to Scandinavia is going ahead as planned today. This image released early Sunday, April 8, 2018 by the Syrian Civil Defense White Helmets shows a child receiving oxygen through respirators following an alleged poison gas attack in the rebel-held town of Doma, near Damascus, Syria. In his statement, Mr. Johnson said, reports of a large-scale chemical weapons attack in Doma on Saturday causing high numbers of casualties are deeply disturbing. It is truly horrific to think that many of the victims were reportedly families seeking refuge from airstrikes in underground shelters. Pointing the finger at the Assad regime, 
Mr. Johnson said government forces had been proved to be behind earlier atrocities. He said, should it be confirmed that the regime has used chemical weapons again, it would be yet another appalling example of the Azad regime's brutality and blatant disregard for both the Syrian people and its legal obligations not to use chemical weapons. Mr. Johnson said he suspected the regime of President Bashar Assad was to blame and warned Russia not to interfere with an investigation U.S. President Donald Trump and French President Emmanuel Macron have already held direct talks about the possibility of a response amid speculation of Western strikes condemn the use of chemical weapons by anyone, anywhere. We are in close touch with our allies following these latest reports. Those responsible for the use of chemical weapons have lost all moral and integrity and must be held to account. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn will come under acute pressure over. The attack today after an initial statement from the opposition assigned no blame. A Labour spokesman called for an investigation, called for restraint on all sides and suggested all forces opposed to the Assad regime in Syria were jihadists. Communities Secretary Sajid Javid suggested the statement could have been written by the Kremlin.